This is probably one of the most heated debates online I've ever seen. No, electric. It's the future. This is our Tesla Model S large drive unit. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. This episode we are going to be breaking down a all new project that we have for you guys. We're going to be doing a 1985 square body Chevy C10. This one is really popular because we're actually going to be doing this for SEMA. This is our second project for SEMA guys. And the cool thing about this C10 is we're gonna do a completely unique power plant. Something totally different that no LSX one's ever seen. Power, baby! How you doing, bro? No, Donnie, we're not doing an LSX. I already told you, this truck's gonna be full electric. Whoa, 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 no, no way. This is by far the best power plant you can put in that thing. No, electric, it's the future. Everyone is going electric, Don. We're not trying to get Elon Musk over here. Let's just throw this bad boy in there and make 800 horsepower. We've done so many this. LS swaps, Donnie. We're going to be doing electric. We're doing full Tesla in this truck. It's going to be the wave of the future. Uh, yeah. I'm not down with that, bro. Anyway, we're putting two motors in this thing. Not one, but two. We're going to be sticking two Tesla engines inside this truck. We're going to be able to go off-roading. We're going to be able to go drifting. We're going to be able to go road racing. We might even be able to go to the moon with the thing. Who tell, knows? Tell Tim to pack his bags. We're putting an LS in his mother. <laughs> no, it's going full electric. We're not putting that in this. We're putting this in this. This is our Tesla Model S large drive unit. This is going to be going in the back of the truck. And we also have another one of these things on deck to go in the front. What do you think about that, Donnie? This, this is not going to make any sound. It's going to be quiet. Yeah, it's going to be quiet. It's going to be good for the environment. How dare you? You're telling me that you want to cruise around on this thing at 8,000 RPM and make no noise. Yes, but it's gonna have 800 horsepower at each wheel. We had some original plans for this truck that were not nearly as uh, complicated as this. And to break this down for us, we're gonna bring our commander in chief, Mike, on board here to explain what exactly we are going on. What was the original plans for this 1985 C10, Mike? Our original plan of this truck was to do something pretty simple. Like Donnie said, throw a nice LS motor in it, porter built chassis, bagged, you know, something simple, something we could drive around to the parts store, take it to the mall, leave it outside, and not worry about it. How boring is that? Wow. How well, boring is that? I'm sure you guys have seen Cha-Ching, which is obviously quite opposite of something that you could drive every day and leave anywhere you'd like. The reason why we're decided to go EV mainly is because all the OEs are going EV. Everyone's talking about EV. I love EV. Donnie loves EV even more. So Jeez. our plan for this truck is to try to do something different. We don't skirt <laughs> away from what is new. This is probably one of the most heated debates online is whether or not electric cars are gonna take over and gasoline is gonna completely go away. So instead of you know, being naysayers, we decided at S2S to build an electric vehicle ourselves. But here's my biggest problem with this. Why? Why, Donnie? You cannot beat the sound of 7,000 RPM with 14 pounds of boost going down the track. Have you ever used an electric drill? Yes. That well. sounds so sexy when you just pull the trigger. <laughs> I want a weed whacker drill. But that's another thing. So we get to be able to play with these Tesla motors. We've heard so much about them and we're gonna try to make this thing cool. Have it go a little bit more of the hot rod era and less of the electric shaver. I'll tell you what'll make noise. Four wheels spinning. Yes. So all wheel drive is a must. Cool thing about electric vehicles is if we have an electric motor in the front and we have an electric motor in the rear, we'll actually be able to hit a button and this thing's gonna be able to do reverse donuts. We don't know if that's actually gonna happen, but we're certainly gonna try. We were going to use all this factory chassis and all that stuff, but as you can see, with the Tesla motor, it's pretty difficult to get this to fit in the vehicle without completely hacking it up. The wheelbase and the width of this truck is actually very similar to a Model S. So it's gonna work out really well. We're gonna use a complete Tesla battery pack, complete Tesla rear end, and we got something spicy for the front end. We've teamed up with Peel 3D on this truck because we're gonna be doing some really aggressive body work. Mike, what do we plan on doing for the actual quarter panels and what are all these little dots? Well, Tim, like you're saying, we had this, this truck 3D scanned and we're working with Tyler from Fortune Flare who is gonna be developing a wide body kit for this truck. Ooh, wide body, square body. The truck's not gonna be particularly like an off-road vehicle. We're looking more like a road race, JDM racing influence. It's gonna be really low to the ground, really wide, super aggressive. We're gonna have some really nice three-piece wheels for this thing. This thing's gonna be like right on the ground. Because there's no drivetrain as far as like a normal vehicle, it's just all electric. We're gonna be able to put it as low as we want. There's nothing that's gonna hit. There's no oil pan. Where are you gonna put the exhaust coming out of this thing, Tim? Yeah, I don't know. I think the exhaust is gonna go somewhere. Nowhere! No exhaust. <laughs> Got 
And that's one of the cool things about a lot of the builds. Uh, the F100, as you see behind me, you have the fuel system, you have the exhaust system, you have the intake. If you have a supercharger, a turbocharger, you have all those stuff. With an electric car, all you have literally is the motor, your inverter, your battery, and a bunch of wires. In this case, we're actually gonna run AC2 just for the giggles of it. So it's really simple. It's a lot easier to do. Uh, we say that easy. It's a pretty relative term. But for the most part, this thing's gonna be a ripper. We're thinking probably somewhere in the 700, 800 horsepower range per motor. So it's not gonna be a combined horsepower because if we obviously turned it all the way up to 11, it would just eat the batteries. But the idea is to be able to shut the front wheels off, go drifting if we want to, go all wheel drive, do some really cool donuts and make some really cool content in the future. <laughs> Now, as far as the interior goes, there's not much to see right now, but we're going to be using all carbon fiber dashboard in here. It's gonna be using some really cool looking weave. It's actually gonna be like a dry carbon. It's not gonna be super glossy. Believe it or not, when you want carbon fiber on like a dash, you don't want it to be super glossy because the sun will actually reflect off the dashboard and like blind you. So it's gonna be nice and dull. And we're gonna have an LCD display from Haltech here. It's gonna give us all our readouts for the electric motors, our batteries, how much life is left, or regenerative braking, all that kind of cool electric jazz that you have. And then we're also gonna have our touchscreen display here for our stereo and for ACs and any other gadgets that we have inside the truck. We're also gonna have a roll cage in here. It's gonna be really tight up against the A pillars and the B pillars, so you can't really see them. And then we're gonna have an actual set of stasis seats in here. They're fixed bucket seats. They make upholstery sets completely custom whenever you want. So you can have any color, stitching, whatever. So hit up Stasis if you want some custom seats, guys, because they make some awesome stuff. When you open this thing up, you're gonna be in the 21st century for sure. We think that electric is going to be something serious in the future, and we wanted to play around with it. We teamed up with Chris Hazel from Zero EV in the UK, and he's actually on the line right now to show us exactly what he thinks about doing this truck. I'm Chris Hazel. I own Zero EV, specialized originally in one-off custom, sort of high-end EVs. I've been pushing for this for ages, like trying to find someone to do it. I'd love to have done it myself, we just don't have the time. So at least you guys have just, yeah, you've just gone for it. I mean, there's a couple of people out there have done a large rear drive unit and a small front drive unit, but two large rear drive units is sort of a, a whole, whole other world. We're going to use an Ingenix system for the battery side of things. So it means you can keep the Model 3 pack complete. Your Model 3 battery pack, which is probably the currently probably the most power dense, energy dense sort of battery in a production vehicle, which also means it keeps its charger and its DC to DC and its whole charging system. So you still get Tesla rapid charging sort of side of things. And then we're going to use our own zero EV control boards in both the motors. Basically, we're actually going to replace the logic board that's inside the motor out. It just allows us to fine tune each motor so we can get a different power delivery out of each motor depending on grip, the weight balance of the vehicle and that sort of stuff. So we can really, really, really fine tune it. You could, in theory, turn the motors to run opposite to each other and do some crazy stuff like that. We can really mess around and uh, probably do some crazy fast donuts if we put them the opposite way. So you've got each, each of those tester motors puts out, I think we had one on dyno last week, 617 newton meters of torque out the motor. And then obviously that goes through a 9.75 to one reduction. So you're at like 6,000 plus newton meters of torque on each of those motors. So you're, you're, you're crazy, crazy quick. And the difference is it's not just it's not just a peak torque like you'd get on a petrol or a turbo engine when you've just got that peak. You've sort of got torque from zero and it starts dropping off at about 9,000 RPM on the motor. So you've got a massive, massive range of torque and power all the way through. The battery is probably not going to like us too much because we are going to be pushing it hard. But, you know, we should get we should get pretty much full performance for at least a couple of seconds, which, to be honest, is all you're gonna need in that thing and you're gonna be going well over well over 100 plus in a couple of seconds. The, the power delivery is so crazy. It's like you're on boost all the time. There's no lag. It's just as soon as you touch that throttle, it's just there. And I think that's that's the thing that really caught me out when we did the electric sky on it. It's just, it's the easiest thing I've ever drifted because you're not you're not having to select your gear and drop the clutch and all those things to try and make sure you're, you're on the power. It's just there. It's a, bit, it's a bit surreal, shall we say. Most people aren't gonna expect to see an electric C10. It's probably gonna be a bit controversial. It's, but it's provocative. No, it's not. It's it gets the people it's, going. It's probably gonna get an awful lot of uh, backlash in one way from some people that absolutely love the C10. Oh. There's been a couple of builds here or there, but none of them have been quite this crazy. None of them are gonna be quite this quick either. They've all been dipping their toe in the water as you guys have just gone all out. It's definitely gonna stir the pot, shall we say, uh, especially at SEMA. You wanna see the future electric or do you wanna see a thousand horsepower twin turbo C10? 
Well, we've already done a thousand horsepower C10, but we are interested to see what you guys have to say about the electric craze going on right now. Are you team Tim? Do you want to see some electric cars? Or are you team Donnie with his stupid glasses? And you want to see some, <laughs> some gasoline powered, turboed, whatever, all right? Gas is not the future, Donnie. It's all electric. Well, that's our C10 project, guys. We're gonna be putting content out every week. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that notification bell to get new episodes and new content that are happening daily. And also, if you wanna get some new swag, you like this S2S shirt. Mike's got his S2S shirt on too. We're gonna to put a link in the description below so you can get yourself some cool shirts, some hats, Donnie's anything you might want. Zing. Look at that, get yourself some cha-ching hats. We'll see you guys later.